82 avec l'album Juggernaut. La chanson s'appelait, laissez voir, Strange Dreams, voilà. Et euh, ceux et celles d'entre vous qui pensaient que notre ami Marino avait délaissé la scène musicale, eh bien, détrompez-vous, il a la tête plein, plein, plein de projets. Et Frank a accordé une entrevue à notre ami Paul Beauregard. Paul téléphone un tour chez Frank Marino dans son studio personnel à la maison. since Mahogany Rush released a, an album. We released a double live album about a year, a year and a half ago. And uh, this, the last studio album that we did was uh, called Full Circle, which was basically released uh, maybe three, three, four years ago. It's very good. It's different. Mahogany Rush is still existing yes not in its original form um, not with the original members but mahogany rush continues to make records and um, we're currently making one now um, for May's america and uh, in canada it would be distributed by AM, i believe <laughs> project for Miles Copeland uh, IRS label. He's got a, a series of albums called Guitar Speak and uh, on this particular one there's me, Robin Trower, uh, Neil Sean, Mick Taylor, uh, Leslie West. They put like all these guitarists together and each guy does an instrumental track so I completed that and handed it in and um, so then they liked it enough to say do you want to do your own album? So now I'm going to be doing that album as well. What's the basis for this Guitar Speaks project? They put out uh, one or two already. <clears throat> that what they do is they they get a bunch of guitarists together because Miles is into that kind of music and he funds it and everybody puts out one song on an album that they release worldwide. There's an interesting side to that is that they do a tour of all the guitar players in Europe currently. If you want to join the tour, you're free to do it. You can stay on the tour as long as you wish. You can leave whenever you wish. And, you know, you play basically one or two tunes a night with every other guy and it's an interesting concept I don't know if I'll even have the time to do the tour now what with having to do the no speak album for him and uh, guitar speak will be released in January um, and then I have to do the maze thing and mahogany rush has still got to go on the road <laughs> Mahogany Rush. Malgré tout, il y a Frank Marino qui a décidé d'installer son studio de son ici même à Montréal, puisque c'est ici que sont ses racines, plutôt qu'en Californie. Paul Beauregard l'a rencontré. We're sitting in a place called Starbase. And um, I've always wanted to build what I consider a world-class recording studio. And I've always wanted to be able to, um, first of all, have it to use when I do my albums, and also give the chance to uh, other people to be able to use to do their albums or demos or whatever. <laughs> A lot of our, our clients are probably going to be uh, American bands and European bands because I, over the years I've gotten to know so many of them on a personal level that they're all going to come here and do something. But, um, you know, I would like the local uh, acts, the acts that are trying to do things that have to, you know, they have to go and use basements or they have to use facilities that don't uh, give them a really good product. 
uh, at least they'll be able to come to a studio that is basically designed by musicians for musicians. It's not a jingle studio by any means. It's for bands. We've designed basically a, a large live room, mm -hmm. which also has movable walls um, that can totally close the place up into a smaller dead atmosphere for the people that like that type of thing. And uh, we've got a reasonably large and modern control room with, you know, what we consider the best names and brands and stuff, Studer and Helios Desk. I've always been a kind of a, a, a fan of the underdog, if you know what I mean. And maybe that's because in the past I was the underdog for a long, long time. I see these groups struggling a lot and I know what it's like, I do know what it's like to watch it happen to everyone else and wonder when's it going to happen to us. And so I want Starbase sort of to become known as a place where bands can, uh, can go, uh, not just to record their stuff and buy an hour of time, but sort of, you know, feel like a good product is going to come out of it, you know. I'd much rather see these bands get gold records or platinum records and present us with a copy than make millions of dollars doing this, because I don't have to make millions of dollars doing this, because I'm still an artist and I still tour and I still make records. And that's really where I make my living. J'ai parlé avec Paul Beauregard qui a réalisé l'entrevue. Il me disait que Frank Marino est prêt à réaliser les albums non seulement des groupes qui aiment beaucoup la guitare comme lui, mais également des groupes qui aiment la musique pop ou encore les claviers. Alors, avez-vous intéressé? Oh. 